Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so it looks like you've ended some kind of situation. There was a choice that you had to make. You've got the lovers. Now, you could have ended a, a love relationship as well with this particular card. Uh, the lovers generally speaks about choice, but also it can speak about uh, a very committed love relationship that seems to have come to the end an end and there's been a lot of growth as well from it because you've walked away from that particular relationship you've undergone a lot of a tremendous amount of growth uh, from that it was a great learning experience for you maybe the breakup was not so great but definitely you've learned a lot from it so you have got uh, the key um, it seems like you found a lot of solutions to problems uh, in the past there's been a lot of inspiration as well you have been feeling a little bit stressed out and feeling a bit blocked it seems like you know you you feel a bit boxed in um, you know very restricted as well in this particular situation maybe trying to find ways in which for you to you can overcome it maybe you were feeling very restricted within that relationship in itself and maybe this is the reason why you ended it you could, you've got that barrier card over here and, and it's next to the ending. So it seems like maybe you felt that the solution to this particular problem was to actually end the relationship uh, in order for you to move forward. Now going to the future, you've got the diligence card over here. So you are, here you are concentrating a lot on your work and you know trying to, it looks like you're trying to specialize in this particular field. So maybe you've decided to end that relationship because it was causing a lot of problems. Focus on your work and become an expert at that it seems like you know you're becoming a master of your craft over there and you're just focusing a lot on your work you know maybe working long hours and maybe this is where uh you know you want to concentrate or focus your attentions on so those are the energies for that week so i'm using the pagan ways tarot for the main read i have put this deck into the description box so please have a look So at the bottom of the deck, we've got the restriction card, and it's the Five of Pentacles. So you have been feeling very, very tied up, very, very restricted within that situation. It could have been that relationship you were in. There's a lot of snakes over here, so you felt that it was quite a toxic relationship that you were in. And, uh, you know, maybe um, a lot of deception. It seems to be very venomous. There seems to have been a problem with money as well, with this card. It's a card of, you know, financial restriction. Uh, but it could be also a card about, you know, somebody trying to limit how you could spend your money or how what you could do with your life. It's also a card about feeling very lonely. So whatever financial loss you may have had, maybe your friends have left you feeling alone, isolated, uh, you know, left out in the cold, that kind of situation. Uh, you know, it seems like everybody has abandoned you almost and you are feeling uh, very, very isolated, very alone. You can see there's walls on either side uh, or um, mountains on either side. So you feel uh, as though there are barriers and obstacles that you are having problems overcoming and this is limiting you as well. So uh, feeling very, very disempowered at this particular moment and feeling quite a sense of lack as well. Now what's going on with you? You've got the four of cards, uh, wands over here and the harmony um, a harmony card it's called here and it, there's the lovers card so you could well uh, you know be trying to build foundations over here trying to build yourself up you want peace and harmony back in your life uh, and you know you this is a card of victory really with the four of wands it's achieving things that you want or trying to achieve success now in order for you to achieve that there looks it looks like there's a choice that you've got to make you've got this lover's card of here it's crossing this four of wands so you are at a crossroads right now trying to make that decision decision if you want to become uh, you know you're trying to get recognition for whatever work you've done with this particular card uh, you know maybe you are trying to achieve a goal uh, you can see there's a lot of people in the background fighting 
So you are trying to get uh, achievement, uh, you know, attain things, uh, but then looks it looks like there's a choice that you have to make. Maybe this is the choice that you are going to be making, you know, between choosing between a relationship and your work, um, and you are faced with that. Now you have all this financial restriction going on over here uh, with this five of pentacles. So it looks like, uh, you know, you're trying to make a, a choice as to, you know, how you can actually, um, you know, um, regain your financial loss that you've had and you are and, you know, gain that stability. Maybe you're even trying to buy a new house with this four of wands. This card is about support from other people as well. It's about, you know, putting roots down uh, and, you know, achieving a sense of harmony. And it looks like you are faced with some kind of decision. It's almost, uh, you know. Uh, with the lover's card between the devil and the deep blue sea. So it's almost as though you need, there's a very important decision. Uh, the lover's is a major arcana card. So there's something that you're going to have to decide uh, that's going to affect the rest of your life. So you've got the princess of wands in the past over here. So this could have been dealing with a fire sign person. Uh, with the wands card, it, it's either Aries um, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person could have brought in, uh, you know, some kind of message for you, some kind of information. Maybe you've also been doing a lot of travel as well with this fire princess of wands or a lot of messages coming in from foreigners or people from overseas. And you've been, uh, you know, dealing with that. Um, you've definitely been taking uh, a lot of action. This is a card of a, being very, very active, be, being very, very, um, you know, involved in whatever project you have. And maybe you have started a new project and you've had to be very, very hands-on within that particular project at work. It, it seems like you're taking control over here. So this is about making a decision about uh, whether, you know, uh, what you want to do. So deciding whether you want to, uh, it's a dominion card, so this is taking control of that situation. But also it's leaving something behind and moving forward, manifesting something new. So leaving the past or the old behind, whatever this old thing was that you were doing, or old situation you were in, and trying to manifest and move forward. So this is all about work, it's about projects, it's, it could even be about a relationship, maybe leaving that old relationship behind, maybe it was a very sexual relationship and you're not interested anymore and you're trying to manifest for something and move forward. Um, it looks like there's, you know, pentacles on the floor over here. So it looks like, um, you know, you're trying to manifest more money. You're feeling a sense of loss over here. So it might be that, you know, you're trying to move forward in that aspect. So you are planning, you are taking control of the situation. And you are now being faced with some kind of choice. And this is very important that you are taking control of that situation and planning because it seems like you want to manifest this uh, stability in your life, uh, some kind of permanence in your life. Now, whatever situation you are involved in, there's been a lot of fighting and arguing and strife going on. Maybe the people that are, you are working with or the people that you're involved with around you are not really getting on with each other, but they're also not getting along with you and they're almost victimizing you. So maybe everything you say, nobody's listening to and there's a lot of struggle going on over there. So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Swords. So something has happened. Maybe all these people that have been fighting, uh, you know, in this uh, Five of Wands, um, have been people that have been deceiving you. There's been a lot of deception, lies, backstabbing going on around. And, you know, they have put you into a state where you've had a lot of loss. There's ruin that is uh, the, the card. So that's how you're feeling. As so the situation cannot be remedied. Uh, maybe there are a lot of things that were said. They all turned against you. And it seems like you're going to have to just leave the situation or walk away from it. And maybe this is the choice that you have to make about leaving the situation and walking away from it. You've got the Lord card of you. So this is the Emperor card, and this is taking control of whatever's going on. So you are in a leadership position, and you've got a lot of people that do follow you. Uh, you can see there's a lot of animals around this king. Uh, and, you know, um, there's a lot of communication coming in as well. So you do have a lot of people that are listening to you, and you have to make some kind of decision. Uh, you have uh, a lot of followers but you have to make a decision on how to handle your resources. You have to take stock of things at the moment and reassess everything and take your authority and your control back again. And maybe you'll have to even do it by brute force because it's in the animal kingdom over here. So you just have to do it and say, you know, whatever your word is, is um, the final say, uh, you know, just taking that control right back again. So you've got that Five of Swords, and this is that card of defeat. So there has been whatever this Ten of Swords was came in because of the people around you. So you've got a lot of strife going on around you. You've got that Five of Wands, which is the Strife card, which caused a lot of ruin and defeat 
uh, with the Five of Swords. There was a lot of tower moments, it seems, a lot of bad luck, a lot of bad news. Uh, you know, you have uh, had to uh, turn your back on that situation. It seems like people turned against you and, uh, you know, there's, there's four people over here that seem to be have given you a lot of problems. Uh, there could have been a legal battle that you have faced and have not won as well. So this could have been something legal as well that has gone down and it didn't go in your favor. So it's time for you to move on. And you've got the Knight of Pentacles over here. So this is your Earth um, nature coming out. This is the card of the Capricorn. It's about being practical. So you're taking a very, very pragmatic look at everything. And you're thinking about it. And you're willing to work and move forward. So it's going to be slow progress. And you know it. Um, and it's got to do with work. So this situation could have been everything that happened at work. Um, you know, in a work situation scenario. And now you're having to maybe pick up the pieces and put in extra effort and move forward. So what's happening for you in the future? You've got the Four of Pentacles, the Universe, and the Princess of Cups. So you've got the Four of Pentacles over here, and this is trying to cling on to things, uh, you know, maybe being a bit obstinate, being a bit stubborn about not wanting to let go of certain ideals and ideas that you have. This is also trying to hold on to your money. Maybe you're having that financial loss that's going on. You've got that Five of Pentacles over here. So you are trying to save as much as possible over here. So you're living with things, you know, um, very close to your chest as well, keeping things to yourself uh, and keeping to yourself because this is a very lonely card. You're sitting alone on this throne of pentacles over here, but also trying to handle your resources and save as much money as possible. You are feeling some kind of financial loss. You've got the universe over here. So this is, it looks like the end of a cycle. It could be that you're even ending this particular job that you're doing. Um, and uh, the universe card is ruled by Saturn, and it is, um, you know, Saturn rules Capricorn as well. So you've learned a lot of lessons. Uh, you are an expert at what you do, so you're pretty good at what you do, and it looks like you might be thinking of actually even bringing this particular job or this particular situation to complete close and moving on. And with the universe card, there's also, there could be some kind of payment, there could be some, some kind of settlement that comes in. But it looks like you're done and done with this particular situation and you're ready to move on. Uh, interestingly enough, it's got Cancer and Gemini over here on the horizon on this Wheel of Fortune. So maybe during that particular month, um, you know, Gemini and Cancer uh, season, it's also got the beginning of Taurus over here. So maybe during this particular phase is when you're going to actually start making those changes and actually move on. So right on the top, you've got Taurus. And then you've got Gemini and Cancer. So during those particular um, time period, it looks like you're going to make that change, end the cycle, and move on. You've got the Princess of Cups. So it looks like there's an offer that's going to be coming in. You're going to receive some news of it. So it looks like you've started already looking for a job or new placement or something else that will bring in the financial wealth. And it looks like there's an offer that's going to be coming in. You're waiting for that offer. You've got, you can see that cup is being held out. And you're waiting for news. So you have put out a lot of uh, feelers. Or maybe you, you've put out your CV out. Uh, and you're waiting for that news. And it looks like it's going to be coming. Almost unexpectedly as well. So it is in the wings. Something is happening behind the scenes that you don't know. Right now you are getting a lot of messages from a lot of people. With regards to this particular. Uh, you know there might be some offers on the table. You're waiting for an offer to come in. You're getting the news. But it looks like somebody is going to be bringing in that offer for you. So it looks like you, you want to end this work situation and move on. You are having that financial problem going on with that uh, Four of Pentacles. Uh, maybe this job you had was a very stable job, but now you are deciding to leave it and move on. Take your expertise and go. It seems like whatever happened around you, there was a lot of discontent. There was a lot of defeat. Like I said, there could have been some kind of legal or official battle. Um, you, know, you were in a position of authority, in a leadership position over there. But it looks like, you know, things didn't quite work out what, how you expected. And uh, it looks like there's been a lot of problems. So you ha are trying to make that choice. Um, you know, you are in that position of deciding. And it looks like you are putting out some feelers. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot. <coughs> okay, so you've got the Lovers card again. So this is a very important decision uh, that you're going to be making. And it says... Um, choices made from the heart a return to good health. So 
there will be some big decision that you are about to make at this particular moment. This could even be a love relationship. It says a true love is long lasting. So there could be a love choice that you have to make. But generally, this is just about choosing something and make sh making sure that you're doing a lot of research before you make that final decision. So it looks like, you know, you've got that lover's a card twice so there is that big decision you have to make you've got the nine of spring over here so protect the fruits of your labor prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead um so you know you have still got some battles that you are fighting with this nine of spring which is like the nine of uh so um the ones this might be a final battle that you have to fight but you are feeling very you know you're feeling a bit defeated a bit tired right now um you know and maybe it's even affecting your health so just uh, take care of your health as well it looks like you are going to make the decision to walk away. The desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on and choosing to make major life changes. So it looks like you're leaving behind uh, the situation and you're going to be moving forward. You've even got that world card over here. So this is about ending a difficult situation and moving forward, um, you know, and trying to get back that regain control of your your surroundings. But it looks like that new offer is going to come in. So there's another cup. There's an, a cup. The Eight of Summer is about the Eight of Cups. There is a cup over there. It looks like you are going to be moving away. You're waiting to fill this cup over here. So you're waiting for an offer to come in. It looks like it's going to come in and you're going to be able to move away to something brand new. So you're in a transition phase almost immediately uh, at the moment. And it looks like you have some big decision that you have to make. Whether you want to stay in the situation where there's a lot of uh, problems or you want to move away. And it looks like you're going to be making that decision to actually move on. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.